What's up guys, how's it going? In my last video it seemed that some people were wondering how the Mojave Express operates. Is it a free postal service? I mean we don't have to pay to use their drop boxes, but if so, how does it manage to stay in business? Well in this video we're going to take a look at the inner workings of the Mojave Express and what better person to talk to than the man himself, Johnson Nash. Johnson Nash is my name. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. When we first talk to him in his office, we can inquire about our lost package. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. And we can tell him that we lost it. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? And then we can show him the delivery order. Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it. But we couldn't turn down the caps. So as you can see here, the Mojave Express does in fact get paid for its services, which we will take a look at here in a minute. That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. So it seems that the way this works is that people communicate with the Mojave Express that they need something delivered and a location to be delivered to. Mr. House obviously did this using Victor, but most people would not have access to a Securitron slave, so they would have to most likely do this with caravans, in person at another Mojave Express office, or by other couriers actually just straight up moving letters like the good old days. But now that begs the question, how do they actually get paid for their services? Well, if you take a look at the two manifests that we can find in-game, one on us at the beginning of the game, and the one on Daniel Wyand here, we can see just how this works. Alright, so we're gonna grab this delivery order here. Instructions. Deliver the package at the north entrance of the Vegas Strip. By way of Freeside, an agent of the recipient will meet you at the checkpoint, take possession of the package, and pay you for the delivery. Bring the payment to Johnson Nash at the Mojave Express Agency in Prim. But as you can see here in the manifest, it starts with delivery instructions and tells you exactly where you need to go and who to give the package to. And there's a very important part right there at the bottom. The person who takes possession of the package, assuming they order it themselves, will pay for the delivery. And then it is the job of the courier to bring the entire payment back to the Mojave Express office where they will take their cut before giving the courier their payment. So in reality, when Mr. House paid you for the platinum chip, if the job went according to plan, we would have had to have wandered back to Prim to get paid by Nash, which Daniel Wyand here must have done before being killed by the convicts. And as you can see here, as we scroll down, you can see that we have the cost as well as what's inside said package. But now we get down to the fun stuff that nobody ever reads, the terms of service essentially. Contract Penalties. You are an authorized agent of the Mojave Express package until the delivery is complete and payment has been processed. Contractually obligated to complete this transaction and materially responsible for any malfeasance or loss. Failure to deliver to the proper recipient may result in forfeiture of your advance and bonus, criminal charges, and or pursuit by mercenary reclamation teams. The Mojave Express is not responsible for any injury or loss of life you experience as a result of said reclamation efforts. So essentially, if the package does not get delivered and they get this sense that you've been fucking around or you did it on purpose, they will send mercenaries after you or whatever other reclamation efforts they have in mind when it comes to retrieving their property. So yeah, if you're gonna deliver for the Mojave Express, don't fuck around because they will find you and they will destroy you. Did Jeff Bezos write this? Failure to deliver the horse masks and lube will result in complete termination of your existence. Now let's take a look at the other aspect of the Mojave Express, and that is their drop boxes dotted around the map. As you can see here, they are usually outside of stores or in important places. And you can also see that they originally had a coin slot, so you did have to pay for them at some point. Obviously, this was for pre-war payments. But I feel like in-universe, these boxes would be regulated by the people who own the business that's in or around. This one would require you to pay Chet. This one in Novak would require you to pay Jeannie May. And this one on the Strip would be regulated by the NCR. And obviously Nash would deal with the one in Prim. The only outlier to this idea is the one in Freeside, but I guess you could say it's controlled by the Kings. I mean, if the Mojave Express was paying you to do this, why wouldn't you, right? But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. 
taking a deep dive at the inner workings of the Mojave Express. As you can see, it is actually a full-fledged postal service. They get paid, feels good. They will send people after you if you screw up or mess around. Nothing personal, kid, just business. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed, and have a good one.